Hey everyone, um, welcome to the first video of 2019. Um, today I want to take some time to talk to you about creative block because that's something I'm going through at the minute. I found myself um, becoming increasingly busy with things that um, were ultimately better for other people but then it um, took up all my headspace and I found myself in a position where I didn't have enough space in my head to think about my own things. So I've had to review my time and energy um, over the Christmas holidays to think about where I can improve the amount of headspace that I have left. So part of this is that I realised I was spending a lot of time and energy on people that ultimately weren't very good for me um, in terms of I wasn't getting much back for what I was giving out and it got me into a headspace that was essentially very emotional and not very rational and I feel like I spent a lot of last year either upset or angry at somebody because they weren't um, holding up their end of the bargain really so it's going to be quite painful for me to try and cut loose um, from the people that are unhelpful for me ultimately but um, it's something I'm going to have to do I think all things are going to have to change um, but enough of that we're, we're done with that now I'm not going to spend any more time on it but um, it has made me think about um, the amount of time I've had to create for myself and it's nowhere near as much as I would like it to be so um, the next thing is that I've realised that although I have two YouTube channels, they're both quite specific topics. And while this one will always be for recipes, I want there to be more chatty videos on there as well. And um, while my music channel will have vlogs and things on it, I want to have a bit more freedom of what I create because I want it to be a true representation of me as a person and human beings change all the time and so it's only natural that the channel will as well. Um, there will be like the time and place for different types of video but um, I'm hoping to explore that a bit, a bit more over the next year. I found the most useful thing for me this time to get me out of the creative block is to listen to new songs and new podcasts and other YouTubers and watch short films and kind of immerse myself in all these different ideas and concepts and ways of working. That has been pretty inspiring for me this time and a new song did come out of listening to new material um, which was what needed to happen. The other thing I did was I was commissioned to do something which was totally out of my comfort zone and not something that I would naturally um, go towards and go, yeah, I can do that, that's easy. But because I had to do that, it made me think about how do I put my own uh, stamp on this, even though it's something that's totally not what I do. It did help the creative juices flow a little bit more and it did start to get me out of the rut. I'm not saying I'm out of the rut now, I'm not yet at all, um, but I can feel that I am getting there. Um, I'm starting to have more and more ideas and I will continue to kind of push through it. And I want to go back to creating something every day either a video or a blog post um, or an arrangement or something just create something because um, that's when I'm at my happiest and on the flip side of um, 
not surrounding myself with people who are unhelpful to me. I want to spend more time with those who are really helpful to me, um, who show me true friendship, who have become second families to me. Um, they're really important and they're the ones that deserve my time and energy and that's important to have in your life. Um, you need to surround yourself with people who um, respect you and who you respect and where you can support each other and encourage each other, applaud each other's achievements and really, really be support networks for each other. That's a um, really beautiful type of friendship. Um, they're my aims so far for creating new things, for um, getting out of the creative block. Have you had creative block before? And if you have, um, can you suggest anything to me that you might do yourself that's helped you in the past? Um, and if you haven't managed to get out of your creative block, um, if you try any of the things that I've just suggested and they work really well for you, let me know and I would love to have a chat with you about it and I will see you later on. Have a lovely day. Bye.